So I just have to point this out. The Johnson County Republicans had this event where the attendees, this was a fundraiser for the Johnson County Republicans, the attendees were invited to take swings at an effigy of President Biden. Guests were invited to beat the effigy of Biden with a baseball bat in exchange for a donation. In exchange for a donation. I mean, do we really want to go down this slippery slope of having Trump effigies and Biden effigies all over the place? I mean, it, if that's the way it's going to be, and I don't want to see it go that way, um, you know, I got a bat. I got, uh, I got this antique sword over here, you know, that uh, used to belong to the Ar Argentinian army. I mean, I'd, I, I could do some damage with this if, if you want to start going down that road, but I, I don't think that is the uh, direction that uh, we want to go as a as a population you know in, in terms of beating up each other's effigies i mean that's that's just a, a little bit too far uh we're, we're more civilized than that you know this is a a situation where somebody said in the comments of facebook here we fight with our votes not fists and bats this is disgraceful somebody else said uh, we missed seeing this last night. If I had, I would have said something to Maria Holiday directly. Evidently, she's one of the people that run this. And to be fair, a lot of Republicans have come out and said, you know, this is not right. We should not be doing this. But here's the video of it, folks. Take a look. And here's the best part at the end of it. It shows the fundraising goals, how far they are behind. And evidently they're way behind the Democrats in fundraising. So, you know, it, and I saw something here on the, the beginning of it that said highlights from the grand old party, uh, Ted Nugent, Overland Park. You know, anytime Ted Nugent is involved in something, it descends into mayhem and chaos. I mean, some of these people sleep, don't, don't sleep at night trying to think of like stuff like this that they can do. You know, that's absolutely asinine and ridiculous. And uh, I'd classify as Ted Nugent as one of those people. So, folks, let me show you this. So, my my pillow, Mike Lindell, the pillow man, is evidently going to be creating a circus on the steps of the Supreme Court coming up this Friday. And this should be interesting. Here's a little video. They had a lawsuit that was thrown out, evidently, from the Supreme Court or lack of standing, which gave them the opportunity to cure that lack of standing. He thinks he's done that. And so they're going to represent the case. I mean, it's just a joke. And then I want to show you a little snippet of Mike Lindell's summary of why he does this. It's, it's, it's sad and crazy at the same time. Have a look. that just went to trial in January, and, and but ours was dismissed on Sandy and said the claims were speculative. Now that was appealed to the Ninth Circuit in Arizona and it was affirmed, the lawyers were sanctioning, including Alan Dershowitz, which I had hired for this case. This isn't just some little tinfoil hat case. This oh, yes, it is. And by law, the law oh, yes, it is. Now to bring additional evidence because it was dismissed on Sandy. So this, uh, this new evidence is the most explosive evidence ever. Just in the last two months, we got this, everybody. The mm. are God. The whole world's going to watch us this coming Friday. Make a fool of yourself. Supreme Court, three in the afternoon. We're going to hand deliver this to the world, Steve. It's going to be the biggest thing ever. And uh, we are going to save this country. My you know, it, it's... I don't know how to say this tactfully, but... Um, he's recovered from substance abuse. Good for him. I'm totally for him in that, really, honestly. But I, I've said this before. I think he's substituted this whole rigged election, election fraud thing for his substance abuse. I think there's, there, he just swapped it. You know, he's as, as crazy 
with this whole thing of rigged election as he was with the substance abuse. I mean, he it's it's a personality thing. I think he has to recognize that he's vulnerable um, for whatever reason to these excesses. And my God, this is just another example of it, folks. It, it really is. And, you know, I don't wish him ill will as a person. I think he he's done great for his employees. He's He's got a good business, but by God, stop, stop the circus. You know, you're running your business into the ground, folks. And, and listen to this. Listen to what he said. This is towards the end of that broadcast on Steve Bannon's War Room. Special for the War Room Posse exclusive. It's, Steve, they make it possible so I can go run around states and, and get out there and do what I want to do, and that's help save our country with the, with all the efforts we're doing out there. And the War Room Posse makes my, that possible so I can have peace of mind. My pe- MyPillow.com. <laughs> Uh, Even Steve Bannon kind of slowed down there when he threw that one out by being able to sell the Gaza, the Giza, Giza, Gaza, whatever the guy, the Giza sheets and Egyptian cotton and the booties. It enables him to go out there and do this to save America and have peace of mind. How would you like to be in that company and do a hell of a job knocking out the booties and the sheets and all this, the Giza, Gaza sheets, whatever. And then towards the end of it, uh, you know, uh, there's just no money left here for a raise. You, you've done a hell of a job, but um, I, I, I got to have peace of mind here. I, I, I have to have peace of mind. Uh, so the money that I was going to use for your raise and your bonus, your Christmas bonus is, 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 is going to save America. You can feel good about that, right? I mean, that, that your bonus... Maybe next year we'll see if I win the case, but, um, you know, it's going to save America here. So you should feel good about that. I can't help but feel that, and I've seen other articles out there that say that, you know, Walmart's not going to carry his product line. Other stores are not going to carry his product line. Um, and it seems like all of this is at the sacrifice of his peace of mind in this insane rigged election I mean, it's just, it's just sad seeing this whole business crumble, you know, like it is folks. It really is. But, um, if he's willing to produce the news and the crazy, I, I mean, I just can't help but criticize it. So I got to show you this folks. So in Palm beach, there were protesters in front of the Wendy's CEO's mansion in Palm beach. And, uh, you got to take a look at this. and advocates demonstrated in front of a Wendy's executive's Palm Beach mansion calling for the fast food chain to join others in pledging to protect workers' rights. Members of the Coalition of Immokalee Workers stood in front of billionaire Nelson Peltz's mansion. He's the chairman of the board of directors of Wendy's, calling for the company to join the Fair Food Program. This was part of the Farm Worker Freedom Festival, a weekend-long event to highlight that program, a partnership among farm workers and retail companies that pledge to buy only from suppliers who follow a code of conduct to protect workers' rights. Wendy's has been called out by the coalition for not participating in the Fair Food Program. Outside of the Fair Food Program, there's still endemic sexual harassment and wage theft that affects workers all over the industry. We've been inviting Wendy's to be a part of the Fair Food Program, and we're here because Wendy's really can be part of the solution. The Fair Food Freedom Festival also included yoga and an exhibit of fair food history. Now, WPTV reached out to Wendy's for a comment. They've yet to get back to us, but in the past have told media outlets they don't participate in the Fair Food Program because they don't purchase field-grown tomatoes and instead grow them in a greenhouse. Excuse me? Excuse me? You don't buy tomatoes from the field, so it, because you get them from a greenhouse means that you can't participate? I mean, that that's a little odd, isn't it, folks? I mean, and he's right. When you go to the fairfoodprogram.org, um, which highlights a lot of different things here, um, you know, in here, it, it will tell you exactly what he said, is that they think because they get their tomatoes from a greenhouse and not the field that they don't have to participate. Well, my God, what about the lettuce? 
Yeah. What I mean, what about the the milk that they use? I mean, they they put lettuce on all this stuff. <laughs> Pickles. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous for them to come out with a press release and say, "No, we can't we can't join the fair food program because our tomatoes come from a greenhouse." Um yeah, what about everything else? <laughs> God. Folks, it's uh it's an it's an insane sort of pushback, isn't it? I'm I'm glad they were out there. And uh I hope that they do draw some recognition to this because they should draw some recognition to this. And take a look at some of the different things. So, you know, in the United Kingdom they've got uh fish farmers, South Africa they've got tulip farmers, North Carolina, you know, here's potatoes. Oh yeah. You know, I guess Wendy's doesn't have French fries on their menu anymore, right? I mean, and here's milk up here. Milk with dignity, migrant justice. I guess I guess Wendy's doesn't have any milk products, right? I mean, it's it's just crazy, right? We grow our tomatoes in a greenhouse, so we we can't be a part of of your fair food program. You know, we we just can't do it. We can't do it. I I, I don't know. They don't they don't want anything that restricts them, right? They don't want anything that restricts them. And that's that's the main concern of corporate America. And we've got to do stuff like this. You've got to set up effigies in front of people's houses like this uh, and kind of ruin their day and draw attention to it because they'll just get away with whatever the hell they can get away with. Um, you know, good for them. I'm glad they did it. Wendy's, you got to be ashamed of yourself. What about the potatoes? What about the lettuce? All this other crap.